Welcome back, Earth Angels. <laughs> this is Earth Angel 444, Tarot Love Guide. Um, so I have been trying to get this video out for some time. There has been um, several mishaps where the videos have been stopped or deleted or whatever. Um, so I'm going to get this message out. I have the energy here. I have the cards out. I have not um, clarified anything yet, but I can tell you what we have right now. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I do want to thank you all for your support. Um, new subscribers, I thank you so much for joining my um, my soul tribe. So, okay, so Earth Angel, um, you can be male or female, of course. You just take it how it resonates. It looks as though you have someone that is in... Um, they have they're in a lot of anxiety right now um regarding your wealth your stability your success and your independence um you have someone that has been having sleepless nights um this is a boss figure this is someone who could be um in a role of leadership or this is someone that maybe you've worked with before you've collaborated with before um this person is highly intelligent they know when to take action they know how to move um this is someone who um, it looks like this person is in a lot of regret for how they treated you. And there, I do have some other videos um, that I posted before in regards to this energy. But it looks as though this emperor here is having nightmares and anxiety. This person doesn't know what to expect um, in the future. And that really bothers them. They are not able to really focus on what they're doing because they see now that you have been having substantial victory and success with your family um your family dynamic whether you're working with your family or um this is something that you've done or you've created over time something that is lasting and it's it's family abundance um it looks like this person is kind of like in a space where they have their head down and they're in deep thought and they have a lot of burdens right now just based on the thoughts that they've got going through their mind this person poss possibly was in conflict with you a lot because of um, minor differences there could just be petty differences um you may have had a really close bond with this person previously um and so because of that they want to come back and they're building this plan and they're formulating this plan on how they're going to um, come back and approach you and this is really what's giving them the most anxiety is not knowing what your reaction or your response is going to be um, it does look like with the four of pentacles and the queen of swords this is you earth angel this is um your energy male or female in this queen of swords energy you're ready to communicate now you are ready to be very clear and precise with what it is that you want your expectations um the queen of swords is highly intelligent and highly um they're they're about the truth so this is a person who is now standing in their power and they're withholding anything unless they get um unless they get the absolute truth from this person and i think that this emperor is aware and this emperor is male or female just take it how it resonates for you in your situation um but you are, you're holding back. You're holding back from any type of collaboration with this person. You don't want to commingle funds. You do not want to hang out. You don't want to look at them. You don't, you know, you're, you're having this playful kind of energy about this decision that you've come to, um, where you're feeling very light on your toes and very lighthearted. It's just that you want to hold back because of previous and past wounds. This could be like, um, you know, maybe you experienced um, a hard childhood growing up and, you know, you've dealt with certain things that hurt you really bad and you're realizing now that these are the things that are your non-negotiables. Maybe you're in a space now where you fought all that you can fight and you are... Um, you're guarded, you're tired, but you're not, you're not going to give up. You're not ready to put down your, you're not ready to put down the fight if there is fight. So, you know, you could possibly be in an energy now where you're thinking what could come next, but if it comes, I'm ready for it kind of thing. And it's all just based on, you are very, very certain about your truth right now at this time. And this is, you know, you're proud of yourself too. It looks like you're proud as you take this leap of faith in the fool. So I have the 
Ace of Swords and the Fool. So this is you speaking your truth and stomping out every single lie. Anything that would oppose what you know to be true. Since you've had this enlightening moment about who you are and what it is that you require. Not just in, in, in receiving from another person or regarding relationship or partnership, but what you require from yourself. You've actually set your standards very high and you are ready to take this risk because you trust in yourself. And this is something that you're doing be out of trust and faith in yourself, faith in the divine. Um, you're ready to make a decision and you're choosing you. And in the in the same time, you're blocking out anything that would project any type of negative negativity to you. So with the two of swords, this is you blocking out anything that would bring. Oh, this is backwards for you guys. <laughs> anything that would project negativity. It's what it's saying. Um, and the four of cups right after that, you're rejecting anything that is projecting negativity because you have gone within yourself and you've exposed this truth with yourself that you see clearly now where your path is taking you and the things that you need to do to get there. And so you're not going to be gaslighted anymore. Um, let's get some clarifying cards really quick. I'll do... Oops. Let me do a quick shuffle on this deck. Make sure you hit the like button. If this video resonates for you, hit the like button, please. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Okay, Holy Spirit, let's clarify. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let's clarify the three of pentacles. So um, let's see what you are holding back from collaborating with at this time, Earth Angel. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Please show me. Hmm. What is it that... Okay, so the Page of Swords. What else? The sun. The eight of wands. Oh. Where'd it go? Okay. Excuse me. The four of wands. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Page of Swords, the Sun, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Wands. Okay, so this collaboration, um, you're holding back from this collaboration because you realize someone has been spying they've been spying on you and they realize now that you are their son they want to choose you now and they want to communicate that and they want to rebuild this foundation they want to win with you so you would know who that person is in your life earth angel this is someone who um, possibly didn't choose you originally, but now with more information, now that they've gained more information and insight, now they want to have this lover's connection and you're holding back. This nine of wands. And this is not just you holding back. This is you holding back your, your success. This is you holding back your wealth. This is you holding back your earth angel like behaviors. So, um, you know, people like, to attach to people that are very positive and uplifting and you know it looks like you're going back into your natural your natural energy who you really are and now they are wanting hmm, to connect so the nine of wands is speaking to you being very very um wounded you're tired you are you fought a good fight you're not done 
Um, but Five of Pentacles is clarifying the Nine of Wands. So you're holding back from somebody or something that was originally um, left you out in the cold or made you feel distant, made you feel um, different or not accepted. Or maybe this is an energy that you felt on your own. Maybe, you know, you knew the entire time you felt that way. So you could have possibly stayed that way while you were connecting or communicating with this person where you knew you had the key and the solution to getting yourself out of this, um, this rut that you were in. Page of Wands. Yeah. So you possibly, you know, it looks like you came up with a, an idea. You were sparked, you got a spark of new life and you decided that you don't want to be in that energy anymore. And so you took this passionate leap of faith to whatever it is that you're doing and stepping out on this new endeavor. The Knight of Pentacles. This could be something that you were planning on doing for a really long time and it just took you a while to get there. You possibly were trying to save up money or you're trying to. Um, hmm. Yeah, but you step right into your truth and stomping out all lies. And what is this? Ace of Swords. Thank you. Holy Spirit. This is the Three of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. So, you know, stepping into your truth, you're possibly going to be collaborating with um, people that are close to you, friends or family, um, being very much aware and in tune with your higher self six of cups yeah so you could be feeling very nostalgic at this time you know thinking about the past thinking about those that were loyal to you um that have been loyal for a long time and really wanting to invest in that and build more um this could be a dad and two daughters um this could be you know family members brothers and sisters um but it's definitely, you know, or old college buddies I'm hearing too. It's definitely somebody that you want to collaborate with. These are people that you see um, and, and you know, you're, you're receiving this higher self download. Like, okay, these are the people that you wanna stay connected to. These are the people that you can trust. These are the ones that are loyal. It's all coming, it's all becoming very, very clear to you now. And this is why you're very proud of yourself in this decision that you make when you take this leap of faith, you stand in full power and full strength as you stand out and you understand that there's going to be more decisions you have to make on the way, but you know what you're blocking out and that's anyone or anything that's going to project negativity onto you. What is this full card? Holy Spirit. What is this full energy? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is you making an, a maternal decision. This is you using your intuition, your um, your experiences, your past. This is you understanding how to tap into, you know, your higher self and to communicate with yourself who you are now. Um, this woman here in this picture, she's seated at a table of water. It's it's all intuitive. It's it's all coming from the divine. And she is totally surrendering to this, you know, totally just a full surrender and putting her guards up towards, you know, and like, I mean, male or female, putting your guard up towards anything that would be negative and turning that down. What is this? Um, well, projecting negativity is pretty plain and simple. What is this four of cups? Holy Spirit. What is this four of cups energy where my earth angels are rejecting I'm turning away nine of cups <clears throat> oh wow eight oops ace of cups on the bottom of the deck and the cards clarifying the four of cups this is you saying no i no thank you i don't mm -mm. not interested after you say that this is you turning down something that possibly you felt like was the be all of, you know, what is it? 
I don't know, what did they say? The best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> but it's like turning this down is like, ah, victory and success for you. This is your dreams come true. This is wish fulfillment. This is you finally being free, finally being able to breathe and be yourself and step into this queen of wands energy where you are feeling very charismatic and you're feeling very self-assured. You are trusting yourself. You're trusting the victories that you've had. And it looks like you've got some, you've got fire in your hands. So maybe you're working on something right now that is really, really coming to life and it's making you feel very, very victorious. And this could be something that you're doing in secret. You might be moving very um, strategically yeah, you are moving very, very strategically. You are taking very calculated steps because the truth is you are this emperor or this empress here. You are abundant. You're full of ideas. You are ready to birth out a nation. You are ready to start a movement. You're ready to start to balance things, to take your place in this world as this, this figure, this leader, this nurturer, this, you know, this, this motherly risk taker, this abundant person full of um, communication, full of insight, you know. Hmm. Beautiful. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hanged man. Yeah. So, you know, in this new perspective that you have now, you're thinking to yourself now, wow, I finally unlocked true love within myself so earth angels oh i'm so proud of you wow yeah and this heartache that's gone hmm. okay this is what i have for you let's get my video did not cut out thank you jesus okay Let's get a couple of romance angels and see what they may say. Holy Spirit, let's get a romance angel from my Archangel Collective. What was that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Trust. Dude. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And just, okay. Oh, I'm hearing before I go, I'm hearing, um, you told me I can trust you. Don't lie. Cause I could really use it. Bye, Earth Angels.